I had a job, I had a partner, I had a house, I had everything, I was happy. And do you think you now I'm happy? Living like this? Yeah, no one Being wants dirty? to be. Come on, man, this is a joke, you know. For that, I would be still on the street, man. I would have no roof under my fucking head, you know. And now they come here telling me that is an offense to beg. Just said I cannot be there because it's an offense to beg. So, and then, and then you made a good point to the police. You said, well, wh who's gonna feed me then, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Who's gonna help me if I carry on staying there for this purpose? That they're gonna be prosecuting me. This is for me, it doesn't make sense. First time a mistake to get my life messed up. And oh. after that, what? I want the case in the court, yeah? To come to GBH, I would be, you know, innocent, going to jail for five minimum to 10 years. Huh? I had a job, I had a partner, I had a house, I had everything, I was happy. And do you think you now I'm happy? If you like this? Yeah, no one wants dirty? to be. Come on, man. This is a joke, you know. They want me to do something wrong for them to be able to do something Have a case on you. And then they said they're going to report you to the council. And uh, you made a good point because you said, what's the council going to do? Are they going to... They don't do nothing. Yeah. And because of the COVID-19, the COVID uh, I've been in a room that they house me since. And now I receive an email. They tell me they're going to have to take me out of the house because I'm not entitled to house assistance. Why? So I have to live here for five years. Huh? I've oh. been since three years almost as a homeless living in this struggle, you know? And so I have to be another year until they, they be able to give me anything. What the police basically told you is go and beg outside the station rather than here, no. isn't it? They told me they manage this area that so area. I come here. Yeah. So I asked them, is if it's an offense, so you got tons of people to get exactly. arrested. Yeah. And why are you not doing it? So why is the guy who stayed in the front of the co-op shop, he's been there for a year. Yeah. Yeah? I just come here sometimes, I get my food and I go home. Because I don't need nothing else, my food. Mm. And whenever I got it, now they come to me then telling me that I cannot be here. <laughs> why? Am I doing anything wrong, brother? It's I'm going to where to go, I got no family, I got no yeah. friend. What is it, man? And what it feels like is you're already beaten down, beaten down. I'm already, wanna, I'm already. They want to beat you up more, basically. I'm beaten down so much, brother. And they want to beat you up more. I've been suffering for long, man. And I don't see no one doing nothing for me, mm. yeah? Whatever the council done is not enough. Well, listen, we... And it's temporary, so what? We're here to help you today. I want to ask you, uh, first of all, how old are you? I'm, I'm going 38 this year, man. I'm going daughter back home. I cannot be helping. I'm not be able to help you since, brother. Which country did you come from? I'm from Angola. How did you become homeless? By mistake of the police. What did they do? I've got charged with two county of GBH by mistaken ID, identity as they call it. And my bail condition, they banned me from the house I live with my ex-partner 
where I used to work and I lost my job because I got arrested. Yeah? You were paying the bills and everything. Everything I pay tax. Yeah. I'm a legal citizen in this country. Yeah? If there is no Brexit, I would be entitled to housing benefit, but I'm not. Because now there is no break, there is Brexit out of the European Union. I'm a European Union citizen, I'm legal. I work over two years, I pay tax in this country. I don't owe nothing. I have no criminal records, I got nothing. Yeah? Been I claimed for... two times for the universal credit denied. Because I must live here for five years. So I must be five years suffering. So if until you're, they if can you're help less than me. five years, who's supposed to help you then? I don't know. Did you uh, reach out to the outreach teams? You know the teams that help the homeless, like... Uh, I know, I've been on the shelter. What did I've they been, say? But they can't do much. They can't do much. They direct us to the proper institution with the job center or whatever, the council to help us. But they're not doing the job. They're not doing it. Because why, if they're doing it, why you see people on the street like me? I don't have a penny. Huh? I don't have no income. I have no help, support, no nothing. So what am I have to do? Huh? What? You've been homeless for three years now, is it? It's going to. Can you tell us about your life before you became homeless? How was your life before? I was happy. I had a job. I had a partner that I lived for a year over until my life got disrupted by the mistake of the police. Oh. And because of them, I'm in the situation. Where are you currently sleeping? <laughs> now I've got a room that council gave me because of the COVID-19, which right now I'm risking to get banned from the, 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 the house I'm living, the room they gave me. Because uh, at the moment they say I'm not entitled to house okay. assistance. They don't I've been expecting any, any time for are them you, are to you come and tell me. Are you paying for that room? I'm not paying, it's the council. They're it's paying for the it, council. Okay. Excellent. And when you were speaking to the police, I mean, your story really touched us, you know, and the way you're well, being if treated. You know, there are few people know about what I'm doing on the street. Yeah. And why is the reason? Can you tell us, please? Exactly. Because we want to help you and we want people to realize your story and, and come and help you. I believe this was a big, big mistake, you know. By the legal system. The legal system, the, the system of the justice of this country. And I've been victim and there's nothing I can do. And after that, I won the case, I have nothing. I don't have my life back. I don't have my relationship gone to hell. I don't have nothing. So you won nothing. the case? I won the case. So you're basically innocent. To count on GBH. Innocent, prove it, mm. you know? First, the police done a mistake in charging me with no evidence, no nothing. Mm. Yeah, by the mistake, simple. They shouldn't do the job, they didn't do it. Therefore, it was easier just to charge someone. Did they say that you committed the GBH on? It was someone else, someone British. You don't, you don't even know the person, basically. And they I just, never know the person. They just suspected you for no reason. It was a completely mistake, you know. How did you end up losing your family because of that? My partner, ex-partner at the moment, because I got banned from the resident I used to live with her. Okay. By the police, mistake. Okay. And my partner lives in North London, where I used to live. Does she know your situation? Year. She know my situation until we broke up because I was not in a position to hold on to a relationship. Mm. I have no job, I have no house. I was under the charity support. You know, being homeless for three years, Exxon, what's the toughest part that, that you find for yourself? <laughs> the toughest part, I sleep in the street, I struggle, I starve, you know. What I got you? sick and... Nobody you know, what really upset me was you asked the policeman, if you want to help me, why don't you go and buy me some food? And he said, no, I'm not going to do that for you. Exactly. That they, ain't got, they ain't got nothing to lose. They're not in a position that I am. Exactly. They're not suffering their life once a day mm. for them to know what it is. Otherwise, they wouldn't even ever approach to me to tell me whatever they wanted to tell that, me. That breaks because my heart, if he was dead and the right thing to do, they should have done it for a long time ago. Mm. Because there's lots of people in the same situation as I am. Um, for being homeless for three years, what's the meanest thing someone has done to you? Brother, I got beaten up on the street. And I still got recently, huh? let yeah. me show you, mark of assault. Huh? I've got assault 
Yeah. You can see Got here. The scars there, yeah. Huh? You can see it's still fresh, yeah. It's been two weeks because I'm homeless. I got no. Who was it that beat you? I don't know them people. Regular it was people. just drunk people. Okay. Walking on the street, you know. I'm just Is vulnerable. That, wh why you were sleeping? I wasn't sleep. I was just walking. Go back home. Is there anyone that's done something nice for you as well in the three years? What's the well, nicest thing someone has done to you? People help me. People give me food. People give me clothes. Yeah. They direct me to some institution. They tell me where to go. And I did. And I did. And I still do it. Okay, let me ask you this then, Exxon. If let's say a million people watch this video. I hope they do. And but to I want to ask you. What is going on? Hold what's on. happening I want to ask you. What could they do to get you back on your feet? I think there is not really the people, there is not the civilians. I who, think who can help you? It's the government. They need to reinstitute all the system of the justice to avoid people going to the situation I am right now. The people get, get injustice by a mistake. Did you ever think about, because of your situation, did you ever think about going back to Angola? No, I can't go. go back. I can't go back. I got responsibility, I got children that need me. Uh. So if I go back, where I'm gonna do? There's no progress. So if I knew, I wouldn't even have come to this country. Mm. In the first place, I could have gone to any other country. You don't wanna look this, back? Because I'm legal, I'm European citizen, I can travel all over the world until now. Mm. And I can still do it. So being homeless for three years, what's the one lesson that you've learned then? <laughs> I learned that people take advantage of every kind of vulnerable person in this world just because they're not in the same situation. We are victims of the system, we are victims of the people and everywhere and every circumstance. And nobody's caring about. They do help, yes, but all the charities, agency, institutions, they cannot do as much as the government should have done. They are the one who should give, at least, conditions for them, institution, to be able to do everything that is necessary. If you had one wish, what would your one wish be? Man, I wish my life wasn't like this. I wish nothing had happened to me <laughs> that happened, you know, because I don't deserve. And whoever is in the same situation as me, they shouldn't. They don't deserve as well, same situation. If you were a regular person, or let's say you were that policeman, and you saw someone like you, homeless, what would you have done? I, I would intervene you would in intervene. favor of that person. Yeah, to help because them. I know what they're doing is not right. Because I understand what they're going through, because I am in this experience myself. That's why yeah. I'm not happy. Living like this, I'm not. Why, what stops you from giving up? Why is, how, what keeps you so strong? Have I got my children. I'm the only person they cares about. How many children you have? I've got only one daughter. She okay. just turned 19. Okay. She's studying, she's finishing secondary school, and she's always depending on me. Mm. If you could go back, would you change anything? I don't know. This is a question I don't even know how to answer, you know. I don't think about go back. I think about what? gonna have to happen for my life to go back to what it is because it wasn't my fault I don't deserve it you know you know people that walk past you if they could buy you something what would you really love for them to buy you uh, food that's the only thing food. food is the only thing that can help anyone in my situation you know? a lot of homeless people they spend money on drugs and stuff so what would you say to that well I don't know people got problems people got trauma I don't get it through that because, I don't know, there is something I believe in God. I'm faithful to God. That's why maybe it's the reason that keeps me believing, you know, faithful that this is going to be ending some, some time, you know. So you're hanging on for a better time. Now, my last question, Exxon, to you is, people that are going to watch this video, what would you want them to know about homeless people? What's your final message? That most of the people that are in homelessness situation is not their fault and many of the people on the society they are mistaken when they judge them because they don't know about their life they don't know what happened to them they don't know in the truth you know they don't know okay, thank you so much and uh, Axon, if you could have one meal that what's your favorite meal to have 
man, anything. Nah, nah, anything. Your favorite as long one. As Before you became homeless, what was your favorite meal? I would say tuna, meat, anything. So what we're gonna do to put a smile on your face, we're gonna go and buy your nice hot meal, yeah? Would that, would that help you? I'm already happy for you guys' oh, approach you, to man. me, for oh, you guys to be you, witness of what happened to me. We got that on camera. Yeah. I was going walking down, parking, just yeah. you know, thinking. Come on, what is this, you know? At Senso, we have a lot of people that donate money to us and they donate, donate clothes as well. So with, with the money, we buy things to help the homeless. So for you, we got a nice Nando's meal here. I really okay. appreciate it. Hot food very, there. Very, appreciate it. You know, and we got you that Nokia phone as well. doing that for me, like you guys doing, because it's not only giving some meal or whatever you give, it's the same time you doing whatever is the right thing to make sure that people don't keep living in the same situation for a long time, which I don't want to. And with the phone, so please uh, stay in contact with us. I will okay, be. So I'll make sure we're gonna it's contact not only you. me, you guys gonna be able to help because I know all the people there in the same They're situation. gonna wanna help you. All right. Exactly. Well, enjoy your hot meal. I'm very happy. Thank you very much. Thank you for everybody. All right. God bless you. God bless you.